My name is Sylvester McNutt III, and I am here to give you three ways to love yourself more. Three tips on self-love. <music> Tip number one, you have to reject what society has taught you about yourself. No matter what demographic you fall under, society has taught you that there is something you can't do that there is someone you can't be, that there is a place that you cannot ascend to. Society has taught you to limit yourself, to cloud your judgment, to cloud your ability to look in your own mirror and see yourself for who you are. That is called self-hate. That is called self-doubt. And the only way we are going to get rid of that self-hate and that self-doubt is if we completely abolish what society has taught us. Now, society can also be our peer group with our friends. Society can also be our family members. If you do not reject what these people have projected upon you, the only vision you will have of yourself will be a clouded, murky, distorted vision of yourself because it is their vision of you. It is not your vision of you. You don't even have a vision of you right now. The only vision of you you have is the vision they've given you, and that is why you hate yourself. So our goal today, and I need you to tell me if this is something you can commit to. Can you commit to rejecting what mom, what dad, what church, what government, what school, what media has taught you about you? Can you do that? Can you commit to relearning yourself? Because that is step one of self-love. Is that something you can commit to? Get in the comment box and you let me know. The second tip on self-love is that you have to practice the art of positive affirmations. So I'll role play with myself and I'll show you what that looks like because this is something I've been doing for about 10 years and it's changed my life. You're getting dressed, go in the mirror, you brush your teeth, maybe you put on deodorant, I hope you put on deodorant. After you wash your hair, you're good. You're looking at yourself in the mirror. I want you to look at yourself and I want you to smile first. I want you to get a big smile on your face because when you create a smile, your body is going to respond to that. So create that smile. Just, just create that happiness inside. And then what I want you to do is say, I feel good. But you have to mean it. Don't fake it. You got to really mean it. So watch me do it. Just breathe, let go of the negativity. Bring on that smile. I feel good today. I look good. Today is going to be a good day. I'm about to have fun at my job. I'm going to listen to some good music on the way. I'm going to call my girl or my guy, whatever you have. I'm going to wish them nothing but positive vibes. I'm going to call my mama. Mama, how are you doing today? You feel that sunshine? When you create those positive affirmations, your body's going to respond. The same way if you do negative affirmations and you say, oh, my life sucks. Fuck my job. Your job's going to suck if you feel that way. So every day before you leave that, that, that kitchen, that, that bedroom, that bathroom, create a spot in your house every day where you can go create this, this positive affirmation that you can give yourself. Ah, life is good. I feel good. I promise you, it's going to change your life. That's self-love tip number two for you. Tip number three on self-love. You have to stop comparing yourself to other people. That includes yourself. That includes past and future versions of yourself. Comparison is the thief of all happiness, of all joy. If you keep comparing yourself to people that are not you, you're going to suffer. That's it. It doesn't get any more complex than that. Compare yourself to other people, even other versions of yourself that don't exist, and you will suffer. It is a direct path to suffering. So you have to ask yourself, do I want to suffer or do I want to be happy? Do I want to suffer or do I want to be happy? I don't know anybody that will willingly say I want to suffer. The reason we suffer is because we're not aware of what we're thinking or what we're doing. Do you want to suffer? No, you don't. You want to be happy. You want to have a good life. You want to have abundance. You want to have a loving relationship with friends, family, or with a partner. 
You want to have access to food. You want to have money in your bank account. I know you do. Even if you don't, you're one of those I don't care about money people. You would love to have a little bit of extra money so you wouldn't have to worry about that light bill. All of that starts by not comparing yourself to anyone else. To simply accept yourself where you are. To grow with yourself where you are. And to know yourself as you are today. That's self-love. Thank you for tuning in to the first episode of Find Yourself Friday. Come back next Friday at 4 p.m.